All right, guys. Welcome back to Chucky Monsters Garage. Uh, here's the final on the '69 GTX. But before we get started, uh, I'm gonna let you know about a friend of mine that's in the community now. Maybe you guys want to subscribe. His name's uh, Keith with Cat Box Modeling slash uh, 3D Printing. Check him out. He's a buddy of mine. Uh, also, uh, Art Lasky. You know, go check his site out. He's pretty, pretty good guy. He sells some cool stuff. Maybe he can help you out. But uh, anyway, I've tried shooting this video like eight times, and I don't know what it is. I mean, it's either the data on my phone is overloaded, or and, and then if that's not it, I get a phone call in the middle of it. So it's just, I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I wanted to put this video out two days ago, but uh, we're gonna try it again, and. Uh, and let's get started so here it is she's all done it's the paint on here it's the f8 green by scale finishes original color it's been airbrushed on with with a two-stage urethane clear see it came out really nice my bare metal foil job here i hope you guys like it And the wheels. Detailed them all up. Moved to the interior a little bit. And his wood grain, all that's been hand done on the dash. No decals at all. So, a typical interior. I sure hope this video goes through. <laughs> Gosh, man, it's gonna make me feel a little bit better. The business end of it, you know, I did the heater core hoses, the real rubber. I scratch built them, put the clamps on, scratch built those. Resin carbs, I think I think they're from Atomic Fireball or Fireball Motor Works, I think that's it. Real rubber radiator hose, brackets for the coil. I wired everything, uh, linkage, return spring, and all that other good stuff. I like this build, came out good. Radiator cap, I took it from some scrap stuff I had laying around. Molotel pin for the the door handle. Uh, let's check out the underside of this thing. All the brake lines have been ran, fuel lines are ran. It's been weathered here and there. Make it look authentic here. The wheels are opposable, I'm gonna end up gluing them straight, so kind of a pain. Scratch built the, uh, the shocks here. Uh, yeah. It's just a quickie video, just to, just to get it out there. Uh, I've been watching you guys' videos, uh, the tag gear at videos, and pretty cool. Get to learn a little bit about the community here. But that's her, dude. She's uh, she's a pretty one for sure. But I hope you guys like it. Um, again, this is just a quick video. I'll, I'll do another video let you guys know when I'm going to start again because all my builds are done now. And uh, I do have an Instagram channel. Maybe you guys want to follow it. It's the same thing, Chucky Monster One Thousand. Check it out. Uh, my daughter's kind of putting stuff up right now uh, she's gonna be kind of in charge of all my social media stuff I just she's more savvy with it and she's better at it and like I mean it took me ten times just to get this video up and usually I thought I was pretty good at doing this but but uh, I'm gonna put this one up on Instagram too so you guys can check it out uh, I'll have another video up maybe later on today and we'll uh, look at maybe something else I'm going to do. I'm still trying to think about what I want to do here for the next build. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I'm going to get some better lighting in here too, so.
Yeah. I hope you guys like it. But anyway, uh, I'll be watching YouTube and checking you guys out. So you guys uh, hit that smash button, smash that like button, subscribe. Uh, I appreciate all the subscribers I have. But uh, hey, I'm going to get going and uh, take care. Bye.